Hey friends, my name is Saxon Savior Michael. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a project in 3D Equalizer. Okay guys, here is the software interface. Before starting this session, I will give you a quick and small introduction about the interface and some of the major options what we are going to use. This panel is called object browser. Here we can see the three different sections. First camera which we load the plate or the footage and point groups. Inside this we can see four extra groups points, 3D models, geos and constraints. In points it will contain the 2D tracks. Whatever 2D tracks we are adding it will be inside this group. 3D models this group is used for import 3D model from external sources like uh, 3ds Max, Maya, etc. And this geo objects and constraints folder, this both groups will be contains the 3D model which we create inside the equalizer software. And here you can find the lens. As you know for all the camera there will be a lens. So here is the lens selection area. Here we can select duplicate and uh, to whatever we can do for the lens below that point browser this window we use to organize our 2d tracks there are some other options also here to arrange and edit the 2d tracks and here deviation browser this window is used to analyze the flow and the quality of our result result while doing the shots i can explain more about this here is the menu section Normally in other softwares we can find the menu section on top left corner but here in 3D equalizer it's here. Inside this 3D option we can see new project, open, save, savers, export and all these things and other more options are there. I will explain one by one once we start the project. And here is the time slider. It is not active now once we load the plate it will get active and here the attribute editor once we click on the camera here the complete attribute of the camera will show up here if you're selecting the lens the lens attribute came and if you're selecting the point group yeah the point group attributes are here the manual tracking controls which we used for taking 2d tracks Lineup controls for view the solve result and do other solve related adjustments. And 3D orientation control, of course, for 3D viewport. And these are the basic and small introduction about the software interface. Now we will see how to import a sequence plate in Equalizer. For load the image sequence, click on this camera. Then automatically the camera attributes will open here. Inside this you can see live action footage section, below that here browsing option is there, click on it. Yes, now the footage browsing window came up, here you can browse the plate. This is my footage, you can see the frame numbers here, the total frames of the plate is 50 frames. You can expand the view to see the sequence view by clicking on here, sequence view. Ok, now we select the plate and click OK. Here is the plate loaded and you can see the time slider also got activated now. This footage I downloaded from vdc.com. It's an amazing website. You can select the categories and image quality before you download. There are so many free stock footages available in this site. I will give you the website link in the description box. Ok, back to the software. We have the plate loaded now. Okay, we'll play the short ones. Now you can see while I'm playing the short, it is getting stuck. If you drag the time slider, you can see the same issue. Why it is happening? I'll tell you. In Equalizer, software needs a cache or a compressed file to play smoothly. For that, we need to export a compressed version manually after load the plate. And for that, we have to click on play black, export buffer comp file. Here it is exporting the buffer file. It will export for each frames. 
and it will take some time. Okay, friends, that's it for part one. This topic is little lengthy one. That's why I'm making us two parts. Hope you guys like this video. Feel free to ask any doubts on this topic. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates. Thank you.